Hi everybody, Rick McAvoy here and this week on my YouTube channel Rick McAvoy Photography I am talking about 10 best micro four thirds travel photos by me Rick. I just realised that the title I've done before made absolutely no sense so I've had to change that to one that does make sense and update this video. So anyway, glad to see you back again. Last week I spoke about my new Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II, my new travel photography camera of choice. It seemed to make sense just to get onto some images rather than me waffling on about gear. So um, I picked 10 images now. They're all taken on a recent trip to the Greek island of Rhodes. This was the first trip with the um, Olympus Micro Four, Th Micro Four Thirds camera. You would have thought I could say Micro Four Thirds by now, wouldn't you? But um, not getting there yet. Anyway, let's have a look at the post. Who am I? What's a Micro Four Thirds camera? Not a bad question. Why not a DLS DSLR? Sorry, I will try and get my teeth in and do this properly. Let's look at the photos. In fact, let's go into Lightroom. In true blue piece of style, here are the reasons I prepared earlier. Quick tip in Lightroom, if you want to get rid of the bits around the sides, shift tab. And if you want to get rid of the lights, L, L. There we go. Photo number one is, um, it wasn't the best sunrise to be fair, which is a bit disappointing when you get up at four o'clock when you're on your holidays, but no one's making me do this, so I shouldn't and won't complain. Walking around the main bay of Lindos and I came across this scene, which, um, yeah, like I say, the, the sun isn't spectacular, but I think that the, um, the depth of the image and the foreground interest in Scooter, loving it. Next. This was a sunrise shoot. I'd um, parked my car at the top of a gravel, just about road. Um, I'm not sure if I should have parked there to be honest with you, so I won't tell you where it was. A um, little bit scary, glad I didn't get a puncture. Walked over the hill, obviously this was, um, not obviously, um, I walked over the hill and was greeted with this scene, so this is on the way to photograph the sunrise. The obviously was going to refer to the obviously I was late. Um, I want to get there before all this happens. I want to be sat down with my camera, sat on the tripod, waiting for this to happen. Anyway, that's not the road, by the way. It wasn't that good. Tree, path, sunrise, leading lines, colours, everything. What's not to love? So that was on the way to take a photo, which was a bonus. This is the same tree on the way back. So I've got the tree and the sun, nice little balanced image in portrait mode because I do a lot of uh, promotion on Pinterest. Check out my Pinterest feed, Rick McAvoy Photography. This was <laughs> this is the first image taken using the Olympus 40 to 150 millimeter lens. Now I bought this from eBay for about 90 quid, which was really shrewd move because you could buy a new one from Amazon for 130 so um good job me but um this was yeah one of the prob it, I say the first I, I had a few test shots but it was the first serious shot I took on a sunrise shoot which is where I do most of my travel photography and it's not bad is it and that's not a compliment about me I just point my camera at things and Get stuff, but that's that's not a bad image. You can see this is Lindos here. You can see the lines of the bits of the Acropolis which are sticking up. Um, yeah, impressed. Um, lovely sunrise colours then. Um, I cut the sun off. I cut the sun off, but I love the the light here. Um, sun's been up for a bit. This is near the church. Um, the Prophet Elias on the hills overlooking Pethkos, looking towards um, Lindos is round the back there. So he's obviously looking into the sun. One of my favourite sunrise spots. Next one is the beach at Navarone Bay. Yes, you will see that these have a, a similar look and feel to them, which is something I like to do in my travel photography work. Rock pulls on the way back from a shoot. Thing I like about this picture is that I used the fully articulated screen and I held it literally above the water right there. 
focus using the touch screen. Why am I pointing like that? I don't know. I focused right here using the touch screen and got that, which I like. Again, there's, there's depth to it. The light's nice. This is another tree on the hill. This is one of those trees that you can see when you're driving from Lindos to Pefkos. And this is on the way back to that illegal parking situation. A boat. Um, yes, it's a boat. And yes, I know that you need me to tell you that. Um, this boat was moored on one of the small jetties in, well, I think it's the only jetty actually. In the main bay in Lindos, the crop is over here to the right. Um, sunrise this day happened when the sun got to about there because you can just about see here this is all cloud. So I ended up having a good old wander around and um, got this, which is um, which I like. Windswept tree on a hill. Oh my god, you've left the lens flare in. Yes, I have. Could I have removed it? Yes, I could. Chose not to. When you're um, wearing a pair of glasses or sunglasses, you get lens flare. It's a reality of staring into the sun. I just thought I'd leave it in on this one. I could take it out, but I like it as it is. Gives a bit of balance, I think. What do you think? Image number 10. There's a video. There's a link to the video on my uh, blog post, which you can find at rickmacavoyphotography.com forward slash blog. Um, there's a 30 minute video taken from over here. This is the Prophet Elias Church, again on the hill overlooking Pethkos. This is the Greek flag, obviously. Again, I didn't need to tell you that, did I? There's a 30 minute video showing the sun rising. I'm now showing you how the sun rises. This is very instructional, isn't it? Um, so yeah, there's a 30 minute video on my YouTube channel, um, which is rather relaxing, I have to say. Um, it only went to 30 minutes because I've run out of memory, but I've now dealt with that problem. Um, and that is my 10 photos, my 10 best travel photography micro four thirds photographs. Should I go back to the post and get the correct title? Yes, let's do that. Ah, no, we need to put the lights back on, which is L again in Lightroom, by the way. So, 10 best micro four thirds travel photos by me, Rick. Um, one thing I would like to point out is that if you want to know about, more about Micro Four Thirds photography, there's a number of posts here. Micro Four Thirds Explained Beginner's Guide, Micro Four Thirds Small Cameras Travelling, My Micro Four Thirds Travel Kit, Travelling Lighting Style, as I always do, and Professional Photographers Who Use Micro Four Thirds. Really? Four things which were four blog posts which I've written in the last. Um, three or four months which will tell you a lot about Micro Four Thirds cameras and um, when I like them. So check out my post last week about the Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II, snappy type as ever. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel rickmacavoyphotography.com. Please check out my Pinterest feeds on Rick McAvoy Photography and if you would like to subscribe to my blog please do so on my homepage https colon slash slash rickmacavoyphotography.com Thanks for watching, see you next week.